Hello everyone. Um, in the video today, I wanted to focus a bit more on traffic flows, uh, especially internet-based traffic uh, in different scenarios, because uh, with VeloCloud, uh, you obviously have uh, this uh, service reachable feature that allows the uh, edge at the branch to understand, hey, you know what, um, if I use this private circuit, there is a way out to the internet. But then in the latest code, 3.4, uh, we also announced another feature called conditional backhaul. Um, and this kind of starts to become a bit confusing. So my aim for today is kind of get you to understand more of the options you can set in the orchestrator and then the expected traffic will flow when the public links are up and what happens if the public links go down. But before we go forward, I wanted to... Uh, show you around the existing options. So in my lab, I have uh, two branch edges and uh, also a hub. Um, I configured my branches in the profile to automatically connect to a hub. And I also marked the same hub as a potential backhaul option. If I don't mark this, then inside my uh, business policy, I won't be able to call it in case I want to backhaul all the internet traffic to a central location. So if I go inside business policy here, I can create a new rule. I match all the traffic that goes to the internet and then I have three types of network services. If I click direct, this is where the edge nuts the traffic and pushes it across the public circuits. If I click multipath, the edge will then push the traffic across the overlay to the primary gateway, right? The SAS gateway. And that is responsible for the netting. And in case that a primary gateway fails, we are basically back at direct. Or I can use internet backhaul. And here I have three different options. I can backhaul to one or multiple hubs. So this is the list of the backhaul hubs and I can click one and select it. Or I can use non-VeloCloud sites or cloud security service. So if you remember from my previous videos, the difference is that for the first option, non-VeloCloud site, we actually use the NVS gateway and that is the one that will create an IPsec tunnel to the third party, whatever that's a uh, security service or a data center. Or I can use cloud security service to make an IPsec direct connection from the edge itself, bypassing the gateway. This menu will slightly change in the next versions of code when we're going to be introducing IPsec directly for the edge, no matter what you connect to. Now, by default, the edge will connect to the gateway um, if the circuit is marked public or if the private circuit has service reachable ticked. So if I click on an edge, I go inside the device tab. And then I can create a private overlay select my interface and this button tells the edge, hey, although this is a private circuit I'm using, on the other side, there is a way out to the internet. So in case my public circuits fail, make sure that you connect to the orchestrator via the private link and also reestablish the connection to the gateway. So in case I'm using the gateway for SAS, or MVS, there is a possibility to cross the private circuits. So just to make this clear, I have already drawn a diagram here. And again, I have to do, apologize for my writing. It is bad on a paper. Uh, it gets even worse if I'm using a digital tablet and a pen. What happens if everything is all right? I have a branch with an edge, the edge is connected to both the internet and the MPLS. I have a hub, I have my primary gateway. So let's take 
all these scenarios in case everything is all right. So these are the three main options, direct, multipath, and backhaul, and the three sub options when you choose backhaul. We backhaul through a hub, we backhaul to an MVS gateway, or we backhaul directly to a cloud security service. So if I have any sort of direct traffic, this goes through my public interface here, not it. If I use the multipath, the edge will connect to the MVS gateway, and then that MVS gateway will pass the traffic forward. If I backhaul to the cloud security service, that will just send the traffic directly on the public circuit. And if I backhaul via the hub, we will use the overlay. And then depending on the routing at uh, HQ or DC, it will go out. So this is the option in case you want, for example, to use a centralized firewall and keep using that to enforce security and policy. What about my private link? I mean, it's clear that there is no impact if I backhaul to a hub because I'll just have another overlay and it will flow nicely. But if I click SD1 service reachable, that will allow me to fail over to both my SAS gateway and my NVS as well. What will fail will be the direct internet traffic and also the internet backhaul with the CSS because this link will be down and I won't be able to create an IPsec tunnel or just not all the way to the internet. Direct internet traffic will fail. The CSS traffic would also fail. There's gonna be no impact on the hub backhaul. But service reachable will allow me to still use the SAS gateway or also the NVS. So as you can see, service reachable is a great option, pre-code 3.4, to make sure that in case your public circuits fail at the branch, you can still use the MPLS to have access to some of the services that in case the MPLS couldn't go to the internet would have probably failed. But now with conditional backhaul, we can improve things because in case we mark the DC hub for conditional backhaul, the branch will start sending internet traffic to the hub and then the hub will apply its own policy. So in case the public link fails here, the branch will send everything through the overlay. And now both direct, the multipath, and also the CSS traffic will flow. There is still no impact at uh, the hub backhaul because in the end nothing changes in that scenario. The only thing to be mindful of is that if you're doing any sort of NVS backhaul, in case just conditional backhaul is configured, that traffic will fail. So this brings us to the last scenario in which both SD1 service reachable and conditional backhaul are configured. In this case, the branch edge will send the direct traffic to the hub and it's up to the hub to figure out what to do. The multipath traffic will still use the branch gateway. There will still be no impact if we backhaul everything to the hub. This will also maintain uh, the NVS 
with the same uh, non velo cloud site gateway. And then the CSS traffic will then flow from the hub through the underlay. What I wanted to demonstrate here is that with code 3.4 and the introduction of the conditional backhaul feature, we give you more flexibility on how traffic fails over in case the public circuits fail. But if you don't turn both that and service reachable, you might end up in a situation that, for example, some of the traffic might still be failing. Also, I wanted to clarify that when I say hub choice, this means that the business policy that is configured here matters. So for example, if I'm using multipath with the SAS gateway, in a direct scenario, the branch will have its own primary gateway as the SAS gateway, but in case that link is down and the branch will backhaul everything to DC, the DC hub might have a totally different policy, for example, might say direct rather than a gateway, in which case the fl traffic will flow through the underlay, it will never come back to the original gateway. So you have to be really mindful on how you configure the policies, not only locally, but also remotely at the hub.